Hi everyone, welcome to this video. We are going to show you how to update a high availability cluster of Natask firewall. This requires only a few steps. To do so, we are going to use a web management interface. We need to log on with an administrator account who has the maintenance right. Here it's admin, we type our password and once this is done, we choose system, then maintenance on the left menu. Then we click on System Update and from this menu we will be able to upload the firmware and install them on the two members of the firewall. Let's start now. For safety reasons, before we update the cluster, we are going to save the current configuration of the main firewall onto the secondary partition. Once this is done, we will upload the update file on both firewalls. In this example, we are going to update the cluster from 9.0.0 to 9.0.1. First we choose the update file and then we select both firewall as the target for the maintenance operation. Under the advanced property menu, we choose download the firmware update only, so we won't install it right now. Last, we click on update firmware. This is going to upload the firmware on the first firewall and copy it to the second one. Now that the update files are on both firewalls, the next step is to update and reboot the secondary firewall in order to avoid any service interruption. The only thing we need to know is to select the other firewall as the target, then choose Install the uploaded firmware. We click on Update Firmware and it's going to launch the install process. To check that the install process is successful, we go to the dashboard and we look at the hardware widget. We wait for the status of the secondary firewall to be normal again. Once this will be done, we will go to the next step. Now that the secondary firewall is up to date, we are going to update the main one. In order to avoid any service interruption, the system will automatically set active the secondary firewall during the update of the main firewall. If you want so, you could also switch manually before you start the update process. The steps are almost the same than for the first firewall. We go to the maintenance menu, we select System Update tab. We keep this firewall as a target and we uncheck Save the Active Partition since we've already done that. Under the Advanced Property, we select the same option, install the uploaded firmware, then we click on Update Firmware. This is going to update the main firewall. That's it, we have successfully updated a cluster of Netask firewall. Thank you for your attention and don't hesitate to suggest new video at youtube at netask.com.